Greetings guys, this is Tokarev and today I am driving my FE215B, my tier 10 British heavy tank. And I thought, why not put up some tier 10 content on my channel, because I have never actually shown off my FE215B on my channel. But first of all, let me make my apologies for not uploading a video in the weekend, that is because I was really busy for school again. I did not manage to have time to record and run, yeah, and edit a video for you this weekend. But I've managed to squeeze in a small video during the week, which normally isn't, yeah, normal. But now that that is out of the way, let us concentrate on commentating on this battle I am playing here. I'm on playing on Secret Field Lines, and what I feel is really good is going into this aggressive, yeah, dog position here where you can counter the enemies who are of course going here because you will see an m48 pattern and a t110 e5 going there so this is a really strong place for countering the people behind that building and of course countering the people here in this ditch between the buildings there's one disadvantage at this position that is because behind you you have no cover for your ass so the people who are standing right here have to protect your ass. But, however, I realized a few weeks ago that this is my favorite tank in the game. Why? It's a heavy tank. I love heavy tanks. It's my, yeah, it's a really good mobile tier 10 heavy tank. It's got really good track reverse, a good top speed limit. And the armor is also really good. If you know how to use it correctly, the upper plate armor is great. The turret armor is great, but this tank has got a lot of weak points. And if you can make the enemy shoot at your most armored parts of the tank, then those weak points won't be a problem. Also, this tank has got a beast gun. My favorite gun in the game. It's a British gun, so that should be logical. This gun has got a really good accuracy. A alright her reload time. For a tier 10 heavy tank, 8.34 seconds. And um, what else? Oh yeah, an alpha damage of 400, which is also really good for a tier 10 heavy tank. As you can see, I'm now going to wiggle to prevent the IS-7 from hitting my weak spots. And he is was very confusingly aiming at me, and he did not manage to penetrate me. So that is how to play this tank. So, trying to get a shot here on the IS-3, but then the M48 pattern and the T110 E5. If yeah, only the 48 pattern puts a shot into my side. But now I know that those guys are there, so... I am taking control of that position as well. This IS-3 is only being annoying. He has got a low chance of penetrating me because he has to shoot at my turret, which has 250 millimeters of armor and it is sloped almost all round so what I have to keep doing is driving backwards and forwards but when I stop to take a shot at the weak top of the IS-3 turret he manages to put one shot into my yeah what is it called viewers hatch there which is a pretty hard weak spot to hit but he managed to so I'm not complaining anymore because it happens and I can't do anything about it anymore so I'm just keeping an eye on this IS-3 because the T-125 fired. Put a shot into an IS-3. So he's almost gone. Well, we're already up to 4,290 damage. This gun, if it gets to work, is just great for dishing out a punishment. Well, now an IS-7 appeared as well in that countering position there. I don't have a shot, so I realized it's pulled back to put one shot into the IS-3. Unlucky, yeah, it bounces. But I can't do anything about it. Have a shot at the 48 pattern. And take him out. My gun gets damaged, repaired instantly, so that is no problem anymore. Was aiming for the lower plate of the IS-7, but did not manage to penetrate his lower plate of yeah I did not manage to hit his lower plate because my shot went into his bike nose which is of course never going to penetrate but guys as you can see right now I am tunnel visioning and the enemy have broke through my allied lines and they have now flanked me so I'm pretty much doomed that's just the disadvantage of this position if you get flanked 
you are doomed. Now a Yak Panzer E100 is going to face hug me and I can't really do anything about it. He's driving backwards and forwards so it is really hard for me to aim at his top of the tank weak spot and I get taken out by the surrounding amount of enemy tanks. But that does not matter because luckily we've got a oh, Yak Panzer E100 right here and a Object 263. He only managed to have to take out a T-44 here. They're fooling around a bit. Fooling around, but luckily the artillery manages to yeah, win us the game. So, great game for the FE-215B. First class mastery badge for the FE-215B. I've already managed to pick up my ace tanker, but that was a different game on Himmelsdorf. Which I have never recorded. Anyway, I want to speak about something else. And that is my YouTube channel, guys. My, yeah, how, what was that video called again? The Ghost Town Bug 9.5 glitch was being watched tremendously. It's, it's, I can't believe that that many views occurred in such a small amount of time. At the moment, it is almost 3,000 3, views, only 4 more views, and then we've got 3,000. That is just mental. Also, thanks for all the people who have subscribed to my channel. I am loving that people finally want to stay and keep watching my videos. You might like this video a bit less, but this is really the series where I want to put up some serious content and show you guys how I play. But... Mitten guard parking lot for instance is just a video where I show off what I do besides playing seriously and trying to get better at World of Tanks. But anyway, thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed and who watched my videos. I will be doing a subscriber special, videos and announcements are coming up, but I will already tell you guys I'm going to do it a lot differently than other channels so stay tuned my to my channel so guys it's pretty much talking for this small short video I'm gonna call it an end here please leave a like as I did um, yeah had to spend some time making this video and I still managed to squeeze it in so that is really nice but guys if you want to check out more of my content just check out my YouTube channel for more content of course and I will see you next time.